again, we didn't do much towards the T44. Man, researching up until where I'm at now was so easy. And now getting the T44, it's like, oh my god, this is taking forever. But no, I, I could research past the KVs and get to the IS line, get to the IS-4. Uh, you'll see there's more variations of tanks in here than there is in World of Tanks. Like in World of Tanks there seems to be the T-34 and the T-3485. Here there's the T-34, 1941, T-34, another 1941, T-34, 1942, T-34, 57, T-34, 85, the D-5T, and the T-34, 85. <laughs> Although, to be fair, World of Tanks you have all those different modules you can choose from. So you can upgrade your gun and your turret and stuff like that. So it's kind of, they're kind of hybrided. World of Tanks tanks are kind of a hybrid between the real things. I think. <laughs> Am I correct in saying that? Yes, there goes the World of Tanks talk timer traffic, I know. <laughs> okay, let's, let's not just sit in the garage. Let's spend the talking time in queue. So then when we are done talking, we aren't just sitting here staring at the screen. World of Warships. Why is that person in the War Thunder chat talking about World of Warships? Which, by the way, World of Warships... This does not count towards the World of Tank timer, Jeffick, by the way. I know they're talking about TOGS. I can't help this World of Tanks thing, okay? <laughs> but World of Warships is supposed to be in uh, its close beta sometime this year, I think. I've heard rumors of like a world of spaceships, but I'm not sure if that's just a a rumor, or if it's an actual thing that wargaming is thinking about doing. That'd be neat. I'd try it. <laughs> you might as well just play tanks at this point. Traffic says, because I'm talking about it so much. Isn't this close enough? <laughs> I I live in Canada. I live in southern Ontario. It seems that everything I do is being narrated in the Twitch chat. Oh, this queue time. There we go. So this gullible. Crazy, do you keep changing colors? Your I swear your name used to be a couple different colors. Uh, Ontario, if you know where the Great Lakes are, it's... Oh god, I should know more about my own province. It's right by New York. The other side of the border is New York. By the Great Lakes. I think it's Ontario and Erie that it's touching. Is it touching any others? I don't know. Okay, here we go. Piece of map. We started over at this spot. Oh, that's different. Isn't normally... Oh. It's normally like the the opposite bases that are owned by each team. Isn't it? Like the northeast would normally be ours and the southwest would be ours. That doesn't seem to be the case this time, though. I've never spawned down on this side before. I've never had the option to. So I'm going to sit here and I'm going to wait for targets to make themselves apparent. Probably get killed. And then go from there. There's a target, there's a target. Get my gun going, get my gun. Ah, a little low. Hit him, hurt him. Now I'm scared for my life. I don't have anywhere to back up to. I didn't think of that. Oh, a little low again. That one would have been right in the back of his turret. It quite likely would have killed him. We have taken the initiative. I feel like I should be able to see him. I saw him shoot. But his tank just isn't rendered in. Oh, there he is. 
There we go. He's dead. That worked well. I suddenly like this spot. Oh, there's another tank. What is it? Is that a tiger? That looks like a tiger to me. There's two tanks there. That one's behind the thing. Oh, we hurt that tiger something bad. Can he even fire? He might have one chamber loaded. Let's let that T-3485 up there do something. Crap, should have took the time to aim that one. But now with his ammo damage, there's no way he's going to reload before I do. I hope. I think. I'm pretty sure. Target undamaged. Not entirely surprising. He is angled well. Maybe a little bit too much though. Oh! Okay, so he can reload still. Even though his ammo was red. That was surprising. different base. Okay, it's fine. Man. New York is in the U.S.? Yes, it is. He must be from the, the European-ish area, side of the world. Which I am even less familiar with than I am with my own backyard. <laughs> oh, that bump. I thought for sure that damaged our modules. I've had that happen before. Crash into a little bump like that. And it destroys something in our tank. Oh, I see. No, crazy, don't tell everybody to change their chat color. And you definitely changed your color, you were blue. <laughs> it doesn't help that I'm terrible at remembering colors. If you ask me what color shirt, if I would spend the whole day with you, like hours in one day, and then you ask me the next day what color shirt you were wearing, I probably wouldn't know. I'm not colorblind. I just can't remember colors. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought you lived in, in Europe. I just assumed that if you didn't know the... Uh, oh, bye, Dr. Cookies. You're leaving. Somebody's leaving, I think. But uh, I, I just assumed that if you weren't familiar with the North American area, then maybe you lived overseas. That seemed the most likely option. But yeah, I do understand that living in the other side of the U.S. even is quite a ways away. Crazy messing with me is okay. Who is soap should make a strip shop? <laughs> Chat. It's really bugging me. <laughs> I do have a free room in my house, but it's it's not available <laughs> for just everyone. No tiger to blow me up this time, please. no sign of movement. So if I was up on that spot, which I originally started in the stream, I would have been right there. So they would have had a shot at my turret, but that would have been about it. Okay, let's, let's get out of here, I guess. I don't see any targets. Oh, what's this? Something to hurt me? For sure. Oh crap. The enemy is 
driver's unconscious. Oh, here comes artillery. Ah. Uh, <laughs> well, we almost had a good game at the beginning. Those things are s tough to hurt from the... Psst, soap, you need me. What? Traffic, what are you talking about? Those things are hard, hard to hurt from the front. Aircraft going through each other. Sure, let's return to hangar. What's going on in this chat? Oh. Do we hear an auction for a spare room? No! No, you don't! <laughs> no, don't start the bidding. It's going to have to be more than $100. It's going to have to be a monthly fee. <laughs> it's not a cheap place, you know. Going on in this chat, I hardly know how to use the chat. There. I I need you. Do I do I need you? I don't, I don't know if I need you. I don't think I need you. Traffic. I don't need you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I wish I could show you guys this chat. Who happened to be watching on YouTube after? <sighs> River. I don't even know what the map that is. Oh, I thought it had a different name, this map. I don't know what it was, but I thought it had a different name. You'll give me 200 gold and world of tanks if you can live with me. Uh, oh, we are lagging. Why the lag? Why the really crazy amount of lag? That's, that's weird. I feel like I need to lower the load on my computer for a moment. Hmm. Give me a second here. In the meantime, enjoy this World of Tanks related banner while playing War Thunder. Oh, the whole computer's running slow. I'm just going to minimize uh, War Thunder for a moment. Okay, I found a problem with <laughs> with using uh, a full window mode. You can't minimize it at all. So what do I need? Um, gra is that under graphics? Do I need to change that? Except from the launcher. Okay, I'm gonna have to. Hmm. That is so weird. What the heck? It's my computer temperature at really, really hot. Okay, that's probably the cause of the problem. Bear with me guys, just give me a minute here. I'm gonna try to take a second to cool down my computer. In the meantime, 
questions? Have questions? Ask questions. Okay, it's immediately cooling down a little bit. I just closed uh, War Thunder there. So we're going to lose whatever happened in that battle, but I can't play with uh, like two frames per second. I wonder if my graphics cards boil into. Let's find out. Although it's probably cooled itself down by now. Okay, uh, this whole bidding thing for my room. <laughs> give me don't give away my Skype for the cost of an FCM. <laughs> it's a fifty dollar tank, isn't it? I think you guys can still hear me. Pretty sure. Yeah, looks like you can. I do remember you, Nick the Boss. Okay, performance, AMD Overdrive. Let's see. Uh, graphics card is at 60 Celsius. That's reasonable. Processor has gone from being 95 to 100 Celsius, which 100 Celsius is the boiling point of water, by the way to about 70. <laughs> well, let's let's try it again. I have a feeling the heat was the issue. Just uh pushing the computer too hard for too long. Plus it's been running all day playing games and whatnot cuz today's my day off. You can't hear me. You answered my question if you can hear me or not, but you can't hear me. Got it. Okay, let's let's try again. Okay, so uh yeah, everything seems to be okay now. We'll we'll try this again. Hopefully that doesn't happen again, but I can't make any promises. <laughs> that that's true, the boiling point does depend on elevation to a point, anyway. I guess because of the atmosphere being thinner at higher altitudes. <laughs> Soap shirt shop or else. No, no, there's another person with a crazy shirt shop name. You guys really want a spread shirt account, don't you? Is this the same battle, I wonder? I don't know, it's not. I queued in for another one. And I'm pretty sure this is a different spawn point altogether. Anyway, let's see how this goes. Maybe what I should do is uh, turn everything down from custom and I have it at all maxed. I'll just turn it down to I'll just turn it down a little bit. Oh! <laughs> I just did that! <laughs> just kind of open that would put a little less stress on everything. The game's holding 30 frames per second. I'm not sure if the stream is actually in 30 frames per second or not though. I do have a beastly computer, but this is a pretty daunting task to play a game at max settings that already most computers can't do, and then live stream it, which means process, render, upload a video, plus I've got it playing back on like two screens, one because of the broadcaster and one just because I want to watch the stream to make sure nothing happens to it. One down. And two down? Two down! Two shots, two kills. I mean, they're just AA, but I'll take it. Oh, hi. That's probably just the AI that's always sitting there that I see on the minimap. Okay, guys, okay, I, I get it. I'll look a little more into getting a. Spreadshirt shop. 
Next thing is, how many of you are in the North American region and how many of you are in the European region? I'm not sure if the Spreadshirt shop from North America will ship stuff to the European, European region and vice versa. So do I need to open one on both or does it already handle that? I don't know. So that's kind of something I have to think about. It's sad I didn't even realize I was in a zone to capture. Oh wow, when did I get hit by stuff? Is it sad that I didn't know I got shot at all? Let's see how long this repair is. Starting in a few seconds here. I think we're as safe as we can get in this spot anyway. Seven minutes? Okay, we're not repairing for seven minutes. We're gonna go have a crazy, hopefully fun death in that case. Or not. <laughs> okay. I was planning on just going and ramming someone, but the tiger from the hill decided to snipe me after I had been immobilized by something else. <laughs> I couldn't shoot or move my turret, so there wasn't much that I could do. I was just going to go ram someone and maybe damage them a little bit if I was lucky. Oh well. Ooh, hello. Hello, SU-152. mentioning patron a little bit more in the future. Um, but for now, no. Oh! Dang, tigers! <laughs> ah, okay, just like that, I game. Yeah, that battle's over. No, you'd know if it was Jepic talking because he'd have that little sword icon beside him in the Twitch chat. My gamer tag here, you can see at the top right now. Space GK54827. That's a muffle. Oh, what are you talking about, Jepic? <laughs> I, I don't need you. <laughs> Not right now. The, the joke in the Skype group, because Jeffick's part of that, is that uh, every time we need help with something, whether it be anything from programming to getting something on our computer to work, we message Jeffick. And he's kind of the guy that I've always been like, oh, look, something's not working. Yeah, the, or the Minecraft server is crashed and it won't come back up for whatever reason. Call up Jeffy support. <laughs> so he's our support. He's uh, a. <laughs> he's that guy you call whenever you have problems. At that time, I need you. Right now, not having those problems. I mean, the computer did overheat there a little bit. <laughs> but, we're good. support is a 24-hour service. Yeah, except for the times you're sleeping. <laughs> or leave for camp for, m for a month in the summer. Just as I need you the most. <laughs> so I want to have the 10-hour uh, the long special uh, live stream, which could potentially turn into a 24-hour, but that's up to you guys in a way that I will mention in the next vlog type video. Um, <laughs> but 
I'm going to need you the most then, because I'm going to have a Minecraft server up then, and I don't really have time, more or less, to mess with it if something goes wrong with it. And you're the Minecraft server guy. You are the, the Minecraft expert when it comes to everything from setting up the servers to configuring them to, I guess that's the same thing, to fixing things when I break them and crash them using World Edit several times in an hour. <laughs> Fine print except when I'm sleeping for leave for I'll leave for a month for camp, yes. Where am I? Over here. Okay. I'm going to the beach, because that's what I do. I have a bad habit of always going the same direction. And I don't do that in just War Thunder. You have computers up there. No, you don't. You have, like, uh, your cell phone. That's about it, isn't it? I just saw a dangerous TD off in the distance. I say dangerous because I've had one kill me before. I have no idea what, what rank it is, or what it's equivalent to be in, in that, that other game I can't mention, and where else Jeffic will reset the timer thing. <laughs> oh, I want AC. I can't have my AC on, although it's nighttime now, so it's cooled down a bit. But I can't have my AC on right now because it would be too loud for the stream. Which I'm kind of worried about because I planned that 10 hour, uh, 10,000 subscriber special live stream at the beginning of July, which is arguably one of the hottest months. So I, I might die. <laughs> Hopefully I don't have computer overheat problems all the time. I'm watching the temperature on my, uh, my CPU slowly creep back up. Is that an enemy or an ally? Enemy, oh, that's an ally, okay. There was no name tag. Oops, and I hit the tree behind me. Let's very foolishly move up. Enemy! Stuff is over there now. They're just all AI, so they're not big threats. Their guns are pretty sure can't hurt me from the front. And as you can see, they're pretty easy to pick off. Couple easy kills, though. That's an ally. Okay, this is a bad idea. There's that dangerous TD I was talking about. I don't think he'll be coming into a place where I can shoot him from there. Is there someone right in front of me? I think there is someone behind that little mound there. What are you shooting at? There's an enemy. Reload, 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 reload. Target undamaged. Okay. That looks like a tiger to me. And he is not alone. Wow, he is not lit up. He was sitting right there. What, did he die? Oh, there we go. Got ourselves a player kill. Oh, there's things behind me. Hello, AI. There's something else behind me. I see that. That's a 
enemy AI as well. Getting lots of ground kills at least. Target undamaged. He's got how much armor? There we go. Is A still being contested? There's something in there. Please don't make me push up there. I like my spot. Is that an enemy? I don't know if that's an enemy. It might be. But if so, I think it was just an AI. So. The only thing AI can hurt is other AI if they can ever hit him. Which is unlikely. Kinda concerned about what's behind me. But not gonna. But very foolishly going to ignore it. Also going to very foolishly go this way where there's less cover. Oh look, a player. And I think it's a tiger. Wish I could zoom up far. There's that other dangerous TD. There's water behind us. Yes, we can drown. Okay, we don't have it. We can't even shoot. The gunner is unconscious. Okay. Uh oh. Good thing we have that fire extinguisher. Uh, we can shoot. <laughs> uh, what's the repair time for this? I really wish we had artillery unlocked. Two minutes. I don't think we have two minutes to sit here. What's over there? There's something over there. You're dead. You're a dead tank. Crap, 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 crap. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I'm about to die. But we have no engine. Oh, I should've just got the repair going. Well. He's gonna clue in. This gun was even. This gun is even down. You guys can't tell, I'm sure, with the stream quality, but his gun is not pointing down anywhere near enough to hit me. But he just put a shot into the side of my tank, and then killed me there. Wasn't there a battlefield bug like that, one of, in one of the older versions of Battlefield, where you'd see somebody pointing a completely different direction and shooting, and well, they'd be shooting a different direction and hit you. Maybe we can make eggs on Space's PC. Maybe. It's probably hot enough. Uh, my bucket list is to make soap, make a sh shirt shop. And I feel that's more of a community goal at this point. True that, true that. Okay, so here's... So all of you want me to make a, a shirt shop, a spreadshirt shop, which would also allow me to do stuff like mu mugs and bags and stuff like that. But how many of you would actually buy something from it? You know, it'd be a reasonably priced reasonably priced items. You'd have to pay shipping too, which I don't know exactly how much that would be. Depends on your area, I guess. But let's say the total price would be thirty dollars. How many of you would buy a t shirt for thirty dollars? That's just a guess by the way. Oh, who's going? Nick, Nick the boss is going. Bye, Nick! <laughs> oh no, Drek has got another link. Hold on. Brace yourselves. This might pop up somewhere. Okay, no. Uh, that's, that's not even worth... <laughs> that is not worth the time. Let's go over to A and stop them from capturing it. With their multiple dangerous things, it'll kill me easy. You really want that FCM 50T, don't you? Uh, 
I will probably never own one myself. Oh, <laughs> here's that spot. I think that's that spot over there. Anyway, the, the video, the War Thunder video I put out, there was a spot where I drove off a cliff into the water. Because <laughs> I didn't realize that was the edge of a cliff and not just a hill. I think it was back over in that direction. Or maybe it was even here. Might have been right there. I think it was right there. There's a river. That makes sense. Well, maybe. I don't know. Hard to say. The aircraft keeps swooping. Which hopefully means there's nothing over there. Has the base capture meter moved at all in the last few minutes? Can I, and can I get across over here? A does not seem to be being captured any quicker. So let's try to go get it. We're going to go this way, which yes, seems foolish to me too. Pressure is pretty cool though, it allows you to create your own, or design your own stuff. So if I supply uh, the World Tanks clan logo and uh, some of my channel artwork or something, then you can assemble that on any item you want. So you can take my channel banner and put it on a, around a coffee cup or something, uh, put whatever you want on a t-shirt, and you can assemble different pieces of artwork and it'll just, it'll charge you based on what you actually put on the shirt. So of course images would cost more than just text because it takes a little more to print those stuff like that and you can add them all together put several things on a shirt so you don't have to buy just what I say hey here's stuff you can buy if that makes sense well I don't I see stuff Okay, guy, you're about to get spaced. That's a new thing. On target. No more tank for you. You've probably been there forever, too, haven't you? Are you a thing? Anything else here? You guys aren't paying attention. Am I connected? Oh yeah, I'm connected. <laughs> cool. I just defended the base. Let's just sit here and capture them. This is going to take a while. Not only do we have to capture it, we have to uncapture it first. And there is forces moving along the road to our south, that way. So you might get an unwelcome surprise. That's kind of a smart spot that guy was in the water, except for the fact he came up behind him. Same with this guy, who was despawned. Oh, hi. You're something dangerous. I have no turret or drive of any kind. I'm so dead. I think I can shoot, but I cannot adjust my gun elevation or turn my turret. So if I actually hit you, then you are either a uh, dumb player or I'm very lucky. You, sir, 
are not a dumb player. Well, we had a pretty good try there, though. We... <laughs> we knocked out, uh... Looks like... I keep seeing planes on the runway. They must uh, go, f go in, drop their bombs on a tank, and then go back and land again. I don't have any aircraft, any real aircraft, that uh, I can fly in a tank battle, though. So it fails again. Ah. Okay, there's... That's, that's a cool link. I think it was Drapic posted that in, uh, yeah, in the Twitch chat there. It shows all the uh, t-shirt prices. So, uh, different t-shirts, different prices. It looks like most of them are under $20. It's a replica football. What? It says for for shop partners. So I don't I think that means if you have an account. I guess. I don't know for sure. Or do you have to have your own shop for that? That doesn't make sense though. This is true. This is true. You you are the only one that can post links. <laughs> it's it's okay, so hope you still love me. Is that based on my death there? How are we doing for research? Man, we've made so little progress today. <sighs> that little bit there of progress is from like two hours plus some from other days of driving the T-3485 wow <laughs> how do we advance through so fast at lower tiers and then just grind to a halt I thought if anything this gap was going to take a while just because it was skipping a tank but it didn't we might not get that T-54 after all when it goes into open beta, I'm not sure what I'm going to try then. I might try the German line. Um, I'm probably going to try a flat truck eventually too. I haven't tried any tank destroyers, which I might. They seem pretty decent. I might have to go for this. The Panthers seem neat. The Tigers seem neat. Uh, I haven't fought against the like British, right? Yeah, British. Uh, tanks because, well, I'm a British tank myself. Anyway, we have time for a few more tonight. So let's, uh, let's get back into it. Actually, whoops, that's the wrong nation. I do have some very basic aircraft in the German nation. It's a little bit better than what I have. Oh, wait. Yeah, in the German nation, it's a little bit better than what I have here, which is no aircraft. Uh, I worked on them for a few hours, I think I, during a live stream one time. So I could potentially take one of these into a ground forces battle, but do any of these carry bombs? I haven't a clue. It would tell me there if it had bombs, wouldn't it? The bullfighter can. The typhoon definitely can. Modifications it would have here, so you can have load. Okay. So looking at these, I guess I'm going to go into modifications for each. This one cannot. Also cannot. I don't think any of these can carry bombs. Oh. That can. But it's locked. Okay, I can't just research it either. 
Um, I could. I could use some golden eagles, which I have no other purpose for. What about this thing? Let's check it first. No. Okay, so the only thing I have is a biplane that'll hold six small bombs. <laughs> I suppose we could take that into a, uh, a ground forces battle, though, couldn't we? Yeah, they are pretty small. Get a Stuka real quick. Stuka, Stuka, Stuka. Something. S-T-U-K-A. I should just start spelling everything that I can't pronounce. Oh, I, I know GRGW. I am trying <laughs> to get a jet. I've been trying that for years. Not years. Months. And this is where I'm at now. And that's the only nation. Um, let's let's look at the re the research tech tree here. So where is this aircraft you say I should get? Uh, yeah, twenty millimeter cannons could do damage, but Ju eighty seven, okay. That's what that is. Hmm. How long would that take me to get, I wonder? Hmm. Sure, let, let's try it. Why not? Uh, let's, um... I guess the quickest way to be just to fly into an arcade battle. Really? Oh, hi. Popping up in my face like that. I'm gonna go. There's a turret drive. I'm hoping that it'll allow me to not have my turret ring damage so much on that T3485. The battle finished, that's why that popped up. So it awarded me the rest of my um, experience points from that battle. You know what? Let's. Hmm, I could just convert. I've never converted anything like that. War Thunder. I don't know what what is it. What would it cost me to convert? It would cost me. You know what? I can live with that. I'm converting. There, done. <laughs> oh, where do I want to put it? Um. Let's replace this, I guess. Yeah, I didn't want to replace the, the other one that did have bombs because I'm gonna, probably going to be jumping into arcade for uh, the aircraft thing so I can spawn a different aircraft as I die. Okay. Now do I have that researched is the next question. Cool, I do. Now do I want... Oh, wait. I'm such a War Thunder noob <laughs> when it comes to Air Forces that I've played a lot. A, a quote unquote a lot. Not really that much compared to a lot of people. So I have a choice of one 250 kilogram bomb or one 500 if I buy it. Well, one 500 just seems to be the smartest thing to do. Yeah, it's worth it. Cool. Should I... Oh, I don't have armored targets. I don't know if it would help anyway, except for stuff like... Uh, the flat trucks. No! Oh, I can. Okay. I, I can't.
can't do arcade, but I can do realistic. I should play with jingles. Oh, good. You know how hard it is to find a big YouTuber? I'm considering myself a small YouTuber. And try to get them to spend time to play with you. To make a video with you, let alone. Nearly impossible. Most of them. And I've tried messaging it before. I think it's side strafe I tried messaging. And was it side strafe? There was one YouTuber I tried messaging and another that I did. But the, the one I tried messaging first... He simply didn't allow people that weren't, um, oh, this is different. He simply wouldn't allow people that weren't in his, like, his Google circles or something like that to, to message him, even. It's like YouTube wouldn't even let me, and the other person never responded, not surprisingly. <laughs> you're small? I have 12 subs. You're, you're right getting close to 10,000, that is a pretty big number, but I can't help but feel small next to the little guys that have like a million and, or several hundred thousand. Yeah, people I could try would be Side Stray, Cookie Baby, I could even go Sircon, Jingles, there's a few more too. Really the only one of those, only a few of those are actually on the North American server for World Tanks though, which is when the test server could come in handy. Okay, how do I drop bombs again? Someone remind me quick. <laughs> I don't want to drop them because I can't reload them. I do have them equipped, right? I do have one equipped. Okay, good. Let's just fly low first. See what we find. Okay, this is realistic. We can rip our wings off. <laughs> I'm so used to playing arcade. This is a dive bomber though, isn't it? What's that noise? That noise is terrible. Space. Space base. <laughs> okay, either you're just really saying my name. If it's a dive bomber, then I need to get some altitude first. Ah, uh, didn't kill either of them. I guess I'm used to stuff like the bow fighter where it's one little hit and they're dead. I'm gonna get shot down by AA if I'm not careful. Holy crap. Hey, we got one. Let's go for that altitude thing again. There's other aircraft to worry about though. Losing your airspeed. Is that an aircraft on my tail? Or is it AA shooting me? There's something. Is that allied or enemy? I don't even know. Okay, it looks like... Okay, we're German, so that would, would have been enemy. We dropped a bomb on him. I don't have aim assist either. That's going to make things difficult. Never dropped a bomb without aim assist. I fired rockets. But not bombs. Gotta worry about stalling, because that's actually a thing, too. Was that a tank shell that went flying by me? Ooh, that was close. Ah, uh, it's gonna hurt. Ah, uh. ah, <laughs> uh, that's why I stick with World of Tanks. Oh, <laughs> uh, that was terrible. That was just pure terrible. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, nobody saw that. Uh. I knew as soon as I dropped it, I was too low to the ground. That's why I said that's going to hurt. I knew I missed them, too. I don't think I hit any, did I? I'm pretty sure I didn't. <laughs> okay, that was... Yes. Yes. That's nothing you do. <laughs> Please make that a video. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> Uh, that's that was ridiculous. That was pathetic. Hmm.
Okay, let's try again. Uh, let's not bomb ourselves this time, possibly. I promise nothing. So if I'm in a dive bomber, which I assume this is, what's the chances of me ripping off my own wings then? Is it better for that? Hence the kind of W shape of the wings? Or do I still have to worry about it just as much? See, I'm not a... I, I usually play arcade with aircraft. Maybe I should just crash into the into the tanks. That might be a little more effective than me trying to bomb them. <laughs> That's the AA down there. That's about it so far. I guess I won't see much without actually getting down there though. Trying to look for movement. Let's try and see what happens. There's something. There's something else. Oh god, that sounds scary. Reduce speed. We'll do. Pulling up slowly as possible. Oh god, I'm ripping stuff off my plane. Uh, I didn't need those parts anyway, so I have no more landing gear. <laughs> okay, I think I learned the limits of the dive bomber. I need to go land though, because I only have one bomb. That's a bit of a flaw. <laughs> Almost killed myself on that. I don't even know, what was my speed on that? Well, 500 kilometers per hour. So did I break 500 then? Or reach 500? Oh, there's an aircraft on my tail. Took out too many of my modules. You a full out fighter. I can't compete with that. Yeah, I can kind of land, even with no landing gear. If, as long as I make it a soft landing. Okay, what's the what's the whole research tech tree here? Uh, we'll research that next. Th this thing though has more bombs. I mean, oh maybe it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Never mind. It still has one. I think. Oh, I can have uh, a few small bombs. But they're they're ten kilogram bombs. 
as opposed to this thing which has one well, like it switched to the 500 I'm gonna hit the wrong button there eventually let's try again the bigger bomb might help That's what YouTube does to you. Oh, they're all people following me on Twitch. Cool. So welcome DP97 GMBH. Is that supposed to be pronounceable? Flyboy616. Lionheart84. Pewter? Pewterman? Pewterman? Puddleman? Pew I don't know. Gilus500? Ooh. Nick the Boss. Jerbear. Lion Slayer and Hellstar. Well, to all of you, welcome. If you're just finding the, the channel now, then uh, wel welcome. <laughs> and if you are from the YouTubes, found me from there, then welcome to Twitch. Hope you're watching and enjoying. See you, crazy. Yeah, have to go soon too. Soon, by soon I mean like half an hour. So we have enough time to fail at this whole aircraft thing a few more times. Don't worry. So I'm going to assume our top speed is 500 before serious things happen. Air brakes. Do I operate those just with the throttle? Or is that a landing? What raised? Or are they automatically done, or, or what? How do the air brakes work in War Thunder? Allied forces have captured a zone. H for air brakes? Ooh! I did not know that ex existed. Oh, should I be afraid of that guy? I have a funny feeling I should be, especially with how close he's getting. He's coming right for me. You can't touch this. Okay, you can, and you probably will. Ooh, they're, they're capturing A. Let's go bomb it. Oh, he's coming for me. He is trying to touch me. To touch this. There's also allies in there, though. Oh, we got something. Oh, hi. Critical speed. Oh, I'm going to stall myself. I'm stalling. He's right on my tail gonna hurt something bad. I'm seeing this looks like a one-way trip. Yeah, that's never gonna hurt him. I should've just crashed into him. This aircraft's gonna kill me from behind now. Oh, I cannot control my aircraft. It seems that when your wing is critical in realistic battle types, it's pretty much impossible to continue to fly. Yet in arcade, you can. <laughs> we killed something that time. That's an accomplishment. <laughs> My first air to tank kill. <laughs> Other than the AI tanks that you get in your typical battles. But. and the processor temperature slowly rise up still. It's getting to the low 90s now.
Celsius. Ends in nine minutes. So they might have another mission come up then after that point, but it's hard to say. Uh, research wise, nothing. Do not research aircraft at all when you're in the uh, ground forces battles. It would make sense. I should have got this. I'm sure that has bombs. <laughs> oh, that's not that's not what I want. I think what I want is probably res no modifications. There we go. Thirty-two fifty-kilogram bombs or eight two hundred fifty. That would have been neat. But that's a bomber too, so. Let's go back to, to tanks, I think. So if if that's true, seven minutes, then this might be the last one. But I have a feeling that the server's up until midnight, which is uh, about an hour from now. But I'm not going to be around until the, the end of that hour. So we've got less than half an hour left before I have to go, regardless. I thought for sure I'd have the T-44 by the end of tonight. But nope. I don't think I've seen one in battle either, but it probably has some crazy code name too. Rather than just T-44. I bombed myself the first time. Yeah, I should have just crashed with those tanks at the end there. But uh, I didn't realize that guy was still following me that closely. Or I didn't realize he was going to kill me right away. When I had the opportunity to, to ram the tanks of the aircraft. In my old apartment, when if you just heard that aircraft fly by uh, in the background of the game, in my old apartment, the windows when we first moved in there were terribly insulated, so you could hear every vehicle driving by very clearly. The number of times after I had set up my surround sound system in my room that I was playing this game, sitting in the hangar, and I heard an aircraft fly by and looked out the window for it was ridiculous. <laughs> I probably did that four or five times in the course of one day. <laughs> expecting to look outside and see an aircraft flying low overhead. Felt like an idiot every time. Okay, we're down at this side. I think I prefer spawning at the other spawn point, possibly. At least then you can kind of snipe at some vehicles trying to make their way towards the center off the beginning. And usually if you're prepared for them, then you'll be fine. Whereas this one, it's kind of go right to the center. I could take the southern road there. Actually, I don't even have to take the road. But I don't really want to take them the road roadhouse. But <laughs> ah, family guy reference. I guess we're taking the road because I went the wrong way. What do we have? We can't even tell what other tanks the enemy has brought. So we could come across a Tiger or two on this road for all we know. Oh, we could come across a couple AI. Who knows? It'd probably be smarter to take that route and flank. But we're not that smart. Oh, and there's several enemy down there. Probably AI. We're just going to sneak on around this corner. There might be stuff right there, like right around the corner. Okay, there wasn't stuff right there, which is what I was half expecting. Now we've got to climb over a hill, 
which means we won't be able to get our gun down low enough to shoot anything that's right there. So we'll have an advantage there. Okay, I don't see anything. And that's their spawn right there, too. So we have to be kind of careful. There is an enemy over in this direction. So maybe we can flank around behind him. Surprise him. Surprise! He's not alone, though. There we go. He's dead. There was another guy over here for sure. It's that. What's that? Okay, that's a panther. There we go. I think that was two panther kills. I don't know if there'll be anything else over there or not. I didn't see anything on the mini-map yet. Oh, there is stuff behind me now. Yep. He's probably the guy I just killed. His engine is damaged. So that was probably our engine damage, never mind. I just saw the little uh, damage indicator in the bottom corner. Our turret is still pointed the same direction it was when we died. Climb on up here. Oh well, that was, uh, we died, but we got two player kills on two valuable enemy tanks. I can live with that. If you do more damage and get more kills than you were received yourself, then... I mean, if you're taking more damage than you're doing, then you're helping the enemy team more than you're helping your own, but... down there somewhere. I see AA, but I don't see any tanks, which I saw one in the mini-map a minute ago. And there's that guy down there that killed me somewhere. Let's try moving over here. Maybe they're pushing towards the center. Maybe we can catch them off guard. I don't see him. Let's, uh, Maybe they'll make themselves apparent if I uh, make myself a little more apparent, which is dangerous, but we're going to try it. I'm going to do that by picking off some artillery, yes, or anti-air targets, I guess. These ones are a little farther away, they'll be harder to hit. How about that? A little too low. This might do it. That should do it. Oh, hit. But no kill. There we go. He's dead. And I think about that much elevation should do it right there. There we go. I saw something along this road, enemy-wise, on the minimap a moment ago. See anything down there still? Oh, there they are. There's two of them. The target hasn't been hit. Well, we hit them, but... Okay, best Get option. Oh, crap. Get out of here. Okay. It's fine. I think. Artillery strike. Okay, I don't hit the ground. Couldn't get my gun down low enough, so I tried to back up and use the whole wiggle of my tank to my advantage. Do it again. Probably a bad idea. I'm just gonna get myself shot. Oh, cannon barrel 
damaged. Probably gonna come up behind me in a moment too, so. In comes more artillery. Let's get out of here. Ooh. Did that do, do any real damage? There's the guy behind me. Problem. He's dead. Okay. That went. Not too bad. Let's get out of here. Let's go this way. Gun's damaged, but I can live with it. I could probably repair it relatively quickly, but the tiger that was or whatever it was that was over there shooting at us dead. Get rid of the damage our cannon, I think. And is this guy gonna be to our right or to our left? 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 If I guess <coughs> if I guess wrong, oh he's behind us now. It could be our death. He's in our spawn. Let's hope I don't get shot across from anything across the whole gully down here. Climbing the hill of where I was. If he falls down top of me, that'll be hilarious. Okay, he's up here somewhere. He probably knows we're here. Because I know he was there, so. I'm going to assume that he knows I'm here too. Oh, nice. I was not expecting that to really hit, to be honest. Let alone kill him. What was that? Enemy forces have captured the zone. I was trying to repair my tank, but it won't even let me. So we're not damaged badly enough. We need to put more pressure on the enemy. They're winning. They're winning? Not on this side of the map. I have eight ground kills, including those, are, those uh, anti air. Targets. Cool. <laughs> Let's zip around this corner and get killed by something now. That's probably what'll happen. There was something around here. Oh, we lost. Never mind. We weren't playing the objective. I should have zipped towards the, the cap, I guess. Rather than dealing with the guy on the hill. Oh well. <laughs> it was fun, though. You call rematch. Whoa. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Tiny bit more towards the T44. <laughs> uh, that was a good battle. We'll play second on the team as far as experience done, or experience earned. See, that guy had less kills though, but just because he had damaged more stuff, so you might have shot the enemy tanks more, more times and just got a little bit of experience each time. But oh, that, that went quite well. Or he might have had more actual player kills as opposed to most of mine. Actually, only about half of mine. That's cool. We're actually... Uh, are only half of mine were actually AI kills, really, weren't they? I don't know. That was a pretty good battle, though. I'm happy with that. I wish every battle was like that. guys talking in the chat about uh, encountering each other in battles. Apparently Drepic tried to shoot down DRGW. <laughs> Looks like Drepic was in a tank trying to shoot down his aircraft.
What did you guys actually? Did Jepic actually manage to hit you? Just heads up, guys. This is going to be the uh, last battle of the night by the looks of it. So let's hope for another good one. No, okay. DRGW did not get shot by Drapic. Almost, apparently, but not quite. <laughs> it is very satisfying to hit an aircraft with your tank, even if it doesn't do any serious damage. Probably a good time to end after this anyway. Peter is getting really dangerously hot again, nearing that temperature where we had the problems last time. That's going to be a problem with that big 10 hour live stream. Oh no, Drepik's on my team. Or in the, is, yeah, he's on my team. Oh no. <laughs> Where is he exactly? Where are you, Drepik? What are you driving? Oh, you want to shoot me? I'll show you what happens when you shoot me. Oh, okay, I miss you. That's what happens. I don't think this guy can hurt me. Ooh, we, we heard a lot of them. This guy, too. I'm not going to be afraid of him. Too low. Need to aim higher. Hopefully nothing to our right is going to hit us. Hurt him bad. One more like that should do the trick. He might be immobilized. There we go. He's dead. There's two targets. I feel like we're a higher tier tank in this one. Have a shot. Can't get my gun down low up anyway. for that. Just no, nope, didn't think that was going to hit anyway. We don't have a shot on that guy. Let's uh, let's go back to where we got our first two kills. Oh look, another thing to shoot at is over there. Is there something shooting at me? Hey you. Pray to get shot. On target. <laughs> All the things are hurt. You think you can run? Good luck. Go Damage everything else. And dead? Yeah, there we go. I'm going to get cocky if I'm not careful. That was just an AI. But nonetheless, I'll take it. What's up there? Player. I can potentially get a shot at. 
target undamaged. Uh, wonder if he'll get impatient. Oh! He doesn't need to. Was there someone over there that hit me? Oh, what was, there's a tiger in this game. <laughs> I just got so... Yeah, I got cocky. I was like, yeah, I'm dominating. Here, look at all these little targets that I can destroy two ranks ago in one shot. And then, kaboom. All of my hopes and dreams were ended. I want to go back to that spot, but that tiger is going to be there. This H1's the tiger, isn't it? I presume. Oh, that missed. I think it's, is it still alive? Maybe it's dead. Okay, that one right through. I'm kind of hoping the tiger will make a mistake. I think that's a tiger. Might not be a tiger. I think it's a tiger. If he pushes up a little too far, I'll have a shot at the side of his turret. I'm betting that I'll hit it. Okay, I missed it. <laughs> Good thing I didn't bet. He was looking this direction too, so he probably, he's probably onto us. Wow, that missed too. I think I'm aiming too low. This spot though, I should be pretty safe. I'd say as I take some serious damage and become immobilized. 48 seconds. Yeah. I spoke too soon. <laughs> okay, well, uh... Traffic's returning to the base. Let's see if we can find him. Oh, he's... A ah! He is flying. But that's gonna be the last battle for the night, guys. Uh, so we're just gonna watch Drepic. No pressure, Drepic. <laughs> Where are you going? Where's I can't forget the map. Never mind. <laughs> that seems safe. I don't know if you guys can read that. He said, hold my beer and watch this. After I said, don't crash, Drepic. So, <laughs> I'm giving his chances of survival a minimal, yet optimistic, 50% chance. I assume he's going for a bombing run. Looks like, oh yeah, there goes the bombs. I'm trying to look for the explosion. Oh, there it is. Oh, you almost hit enemy tank. But you're now smoking. <laughs> That's an AA shooting at you. He was capturing his own A. Maybe you should get, uh, try to take care of A there if you have any bombs left. Looks like you have a couple. Looks like he's having a hard time flying. Oh, he's going for that. Oh! <laughs> Ooh! You almost hit him. <laughs> Unfortunately, 
That flame is you. That crater? Yeah. You created it. With your face. <laughs> DRGW says, Don't worry, Drefik has been practicing his crash or er, landings. <laughs> What? Where does aircraft come from there? I looked away for a second and boop. It was just flames that... I'm not going crazy, right? It was just flames there. No aircraft for a moment, right? I don't know, maybe I'm crazy. Probably crazy. Tiniest little sliver for the T-44. Again. Oh, we're not researching the... The modules very quickly either. That must... They must slow you way down when you get to high tiers. Like by several... Th oh, well. We did a little bit, but a quarter of it. But they must slow you way down. Because there was battles in lower tier where I would research multiple modules after one battle, so I don't know. Maybe it's to kind of keep you, to get you into the game. And then it slows your, your progress down so you stay in the game. Oh, it looks like the aircraft emerged from the ground. <laughs> you tried, Drepic. You almost hit the enemy. Almost. Both times you were... Not too far off. But you had to be about a quarter of the distance to actually splash him. Let alone kill him. <laughs> you did good, kid. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for the live stream here. Hope you all enjoy it. Thank you all for coming on out. Uh, it was fun. I'll see you later.